All right. Well, hello and welcome. Hey, everybody. Grim Green back here. This isn't a vlog. This is not a vlog. Uh, I wasn't able to do a vlog this week because of the bro trip out to Dumont Dunes, which I uploaded on Thursday, but I also realized that I have a lot of vape mail sitting here, and I was actually just going to kind of put this off until next week, until the next vlog, until I looked down and kind of went, uh, I've got like 12 packages here, and I actually kind of need the stuff inside of them to, you know, use and evaluate and do a review for. So all we're going to do right now, I don't have any news. I don't have any sort of uh, retro vapings or no beer or anything like that. This is literally just going to be the vape mail segment of the vlog right now. Just because I have so much effing vape mail to get through. So we're just going to dive in. I've got, uh, I've got a uh, Febreze, I believe. Febreze scented garbage bag and I've got my spider cone knife and I dude I'm serious there's so many packages here it's ridiculous so we're gonna try to get through this as fast as we can and then of course at the end I'm gonna set something up like I do in the vlog I'm gonna pick something from the vape mail to set up and vape in this here video this is a package from Space Jam and I believe it's their new pod system yes it's called the bird the bird by Space Jam Comes with a device, comes with a bunch of pods, original golden honey, mango, and mint. Golden honey? That just sounds good. Well, this is something I can just set up real quick and easy, right? Like, I can just throw a pod on here. Comes with a USB cord, comes with uh, a battery that is interestingly shaped, as well as a starting guide. Uh, yeah, there you go. High, medium, and low. It's not high, medium, and low. Sorry, there's nothing to adjust. I realize that was a little bit uh, weird the way I phrased that. It shows you your battery life. When it's green, it's full battery. When it's yellow... I burped. <laughs> when it's yellow, it's medium life, and when it's red, it's low. It's a very pod system-y battery. You know what I mean? There's a lot of pod systems out on the market right now. This one isn't particularly cool or unique, but it is a battery, and it's a square battery, and it's a little bit swoopy. It's pretty comfortable to hold, but I'm going to put a pod on here, and I'm just going to vape this one right now. I believe this yellow flavor is the golden honey, which is the thing that caught my eye that made me want to set this up right now. All the pods are color-coded, like with most every pod system out there, the pods are color-coded for the flavors. It looks like it's magnetic on the inside, and there's definitely a right and wrong way to put this in here. There's two spots on the bottom here and you got to line those up with the two little connectors on the inside kind of just falls in doesn't snap it's not snappy like that my Lee from the last vlog but it is magnetic it gave me a green battery so I'm just gonna vape it right out of the box like you're supposed to okay Oh, that's that's actually pretty good. It reminds me of uh, reminds me of this old juice I used to vape, honey bees that tasted like honey, kind of tasted like honey nut Cheerios, but the vapor smelled like farty socks. Yeah, the vapor doesn't smell great on this pod, but the flavor is very nice. It's got a nice little draw. Wow. Okay. That's actually a really good vape. Well, thanks Space Jam for sending that over my way. I'm going to put a full review up on YouTube eventually at some point for this after I use it for a little bit longer. But I do have a spare, which means this gets to go in the area for $2 stuff. Okay, I'm sorry. I just want to try the mint one. I like menthol. I like mint, especially in pod systems. So I'm going to try out the mint pod on this bird from Space Jam. Oh yeah, that is very, very nice. That is uh, much more spearminty than like menthol minty. It kind of tastes like uh, certs or like uh, Wrigley's gum, something like that. Just very minty, very spearminty. All right, well, there you go. Cool, mint's good too. And I actually really like their little uh, marketing campaign on here, Give Smoking the Bird. Get it? Bird, bird, bird. Oh, it's cool. I'm honestly interested to see how strong this, this magnet is. When I snap it in, it doesn't feel very strong, but I don't know. It feels like it holds in there really well. One of the things I really like to do with the pod systems that I use that I've been doing with that Miley is I just kind of bite it and hold it in my mouth. You know, like you would like a cigar or a cigarette or something like that. But I'm interested to see if it's gonna like 
fall out or something. Doesn't appear to be. Just moving right along, man. We got no we got no time to waste today. Oh, this is the uh this is the 22 millimeter nudge from Watofo. I love the 24 millimeter nudge. It's one of the most flavorful RDAs that I've come across. I don't know. Let's open it up in black. Honestly, the only thing I didn't like about the original, you know, 24 millimeter Watofo nudge was the colors. I wasn't a huge fan of the way those colors look. The silver was kind of uh, it looked a, it looked a little bit cheap it doesn't look really cool on like you know my uh, my cartel revenant like it looks fine but I want kind of something cooler looking oh the black's pretty nice and it is black and it is a 22 millimeter little banger squonker guy this is a single coil deck in here oh I hate trying to grab the threads to pull the top cap off but I was successful a squonk pin right in the bottom single coil deck same airflow as before same design as before why is one side of the airflow really stiff? Anyway, we're going to set this up uh, eventually. I don't know. Is that something I should set up today? Well, let me set one to the side just to see if that's something I'm going to set up today or not. And the rest, there's a bunch more. I mean, these are all $2 stuff, you guys. I have no need for five Watofo 22 millimeter nudge atomizers. And so uh, my patrons are going to get, uh, you know, some $2 sales. Anyway, we keep this momentum going. Let's keep it going. This is from Wismac, and I'm hoping it's that new uh, Luxotic uh, j -Bo squonker that I've been seeing around Instagram. Oh, yeehaw, look at that. Yellow honeycomb one and then like a blue shiny resin -y door one. These look very, very cool, man. Oh yeah, wow. That's a very, very nice little squonker. This is a single 18650 guy, I believe. Single 18650 Luxotic BF box manufactured by Jabo. Or designed by Jabo, sorry. Designed by Jabo, manufactured by Wismac. The doors, that same, uh, you know, honeycomb sort of feeling. I don't know if this is a resin or not, but it feels a lot like that, uh, like that mech mod, the Machina mech mod that Wismac and Jabo released. These doors feel exactly like that weird little bottle how do you fill the bottle how do you get the bottle out oh i see there is a honeycomb trap door on the bottom oh yeah and they use that same exact uh same exact bottle plunger system that i really liked on that other geek vape squonker people were not really stoked on that geek vape squonker i still feel like it was a pretty damn original looking uh original fill system the bottle itself is is quite rigid however it's not soft like those soft silicone bottles and the window right here is small it's a small little window right here i always think about people like casey or ruby Roo or jess that have those talons like the long talon female fingernails yeah that's gonna be a bitch to squonk and more importantly it's topped with the newer version of his old tobe atomizer i can't remember what they're calling it it's like the tobish or the tobe light does it even say oh the tobino this is the tobino rda on top interesting okay this is heavily going into the I really want to set it up today pile. In fact, I really want to set this up today. Ah, and there's another box inside. Ah, Blitz. Okay, this is something from Blitz. This is the Ghoul RDA. That's a really interesting RDA, and it's not going to show up on camera, but it's shaped oddly. It's shaped like the way a barrel is shaped. It's narrower at the bottom and narrower at the top, and it kind of bulges out ever so slightly. It's not a it's not a flat side. It's a rounded side. It looks like a single coil deck. All right, shit. I'm gonna need a mod to look at this deck real fast. Hang on. Oh, wow. Strong O-rings. Dry strong O-rings. That is just a weird, crazy, interesting deck. Is that ceramic on top? How is that gonna work? One side's the positive. Yeah, you just put your leads straight in and you drop them down a little bit so they get in front of the airflow. It's got a really bizarre sort of uneven feeling airflow. Some of the airflow comes directly through the front right here and then some of the airflow comes through the back and then has to go around the post so you feel more resistance from one side than the other side and that's a thing that over time usually over the course of about a few puffs. It's something that really, really bothers me. Oh, okay. Oh, that feels, that actually feels fairly even. 
One side's definitely louder than the other side. But anyway, yeah, cool. From Blitz, the Ghoul RDA. Oh, how did they know? They knew that Wismech was releasing that mod because this is a orange or yellowy exact same honeycomb pattern. Apparently honeycomb is the new stab wood. Comes with stuff, comes with things, comes with a tool, comes with a not a squonk pin. Nope, nope, neither of those are squonk pins. This is squonker ready? No, this is a dripper. This is actually a dripper dripper, not a squonker. Oh shit, what else did they include in here? What is this? They sent me a toy? They sent Blitz Enterprises also sent me a Stormtrooper Lego set. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, there you go. It's a buildable Stormtrooper from, from Blitz Enterprises. All right. Yeah, that actually uh, that actually looks kind of cool. Maybe this is what I'll set up today. Does anybody want to see me set up a Lego Stormtrooper? No, I'm going to set up a vape thing. Why would I do that? Uh, got a few things from Vandy Vape, the Kylan Mini RTA, single coil version. It's interesting that they printed single coil version on there, which means they're going to inevitably uh, release a dual coil version. I don't know why they wouldn't just release them at the same time so you have a single coil version and a dual coil version to choose from. And then this is the Phobia RDA from Alex. Don't know who Alex is, but I do want to see this Phobia RDA. I've seen pictures of the Kylan Mini RTA already, so I kind of know what to expect there, but I haven't seen any pictures of the Phobia RDA. It's actually a pretty cool looking RDA. I'm not a huge, I'm not in love with that logo, but it's still, otherwise, it's a cool looking RDA. This has one of those uh, shiny Ultim drip tips that don't bother me maybe as much as other Ultim drip tips. Yeah, it's a... Uh... It's an RDA for sure. The airflow is quite crazy on it, so much so that I wanna feel how the airflow feels. It's traveling through a lot of tunnels and whatnot underneath. The airflow doesn't just come in at your coils or in and up at your coils. It kinda goes in and around and then at your coils. In fact, let me just shoot a quick up close video and show it to you, but it looks like it's a postless deck design. You see how the airflow, your coils are gonna kinda sit in this little cradle of airflow but the airflow comes from over here as opposed to over here so it's going to go in right there then around and then up at your coils looks like a you know postless uh deck design interesting I, I find this rda very interesting but yeah that's the deck and it looks cool it looks pretty cool looks like it's not going to be too effortful effortful what's the opposite of effortless that's what i was going for right there i guess Easy is the opposite of effortless. You don't say effortful. Effortful. No, easy is not the opposite of effortful. E easy is the op. Okay, this is ridiculous. Looks like it should be pretty easy to build on. I don't even know why that effortful word was even thrown around to begin with. Yeah, adjustable uh, AFC on the bottom. Oh wow, it's a lot smoother than I thought it would be. And even wide open, it's a little bit more restricted than I thought it would be. All right, cool. Well, there you go. All right. All right, Phobia RDA. And it comes with a spare barrel. Is this barrel a different size or something? Oh, it comes with a, the second barrel is literally just purely aesthetics. It comes with a an old school chuff style cap on top. So it's still that, uh, you know, slightly polished, darker, ultim stabilized piss look. Uh, I think this is juice. Oh yeah, this is uh. This is that Freeman juice. You know what, in the next vlog, this is a juice that I really want to taste because I kind of really like their branding. I like the way it looks. I'm not stoked on the name of this, Cocaine? Did they really name of juice Cocaine? Why, why would you? Why would you do that? Why would you name a juice cocaine? That, that's a uh, that's a really odd 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 choice there, Freeman. Fall spirit as well as homecoming. I'm really put off. I'm really put off by the by the name of this juice. Why'd they name the juice cocaine? I'm just gonna double check my spelling. I, uh, I I I'm not I'm not the strongest speller. I didn't major in English. Oh, okay, so it's not it's not cocaine. It's cocoane. C o c o a i n e. 
Is there any other way to read that other than cocaine? Cocoaine? That's a really, uh, either way, I, th I think that's a pretty dumb name, Freeman. Crunchy Cookie Coconut. I could think of like a quadrillion different names for a crunchy cookie coconut than cocoaine. Anyway, next week I actually really would like to try one of these caramel apple strawberry rice pudding. Ugh. Okay, next week in the vlog, strawberry rice pudding from Freeman is definitely going down. Oh, these are broken. Oh. Fuck everything. These are broken. All these bottles are gooey. Oh god, which one broke? Uh, it appears to be 1885. That is the broken bottle. Sorry, vanilla milkshake. Oh, these are all vanilla milkshake. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Couple of bottles of 1885 Freeman vanilla milkshake. That truly and honestly just smells like a custard to me. Mmm. Hmm. Okay, well maybe I'll set something up. I'll set up the Wismac and then I'll put a, a juice in it. So we still kind of get a, 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 a reduced vlog a little bit. I'm going to set something up and then we're still going to do a random juice tasting because I do want to taste this Freeman juice in this video. Oh, these are like Christmas gifts. Merry Christmas. Merry birthday. Bang and new year. Hey, Nick, here's a gift from me to you. Sorry, it's a wee bit late. I hope it's worth the wait. Thanks for everything you do for the industry. I hope you have a great new year and congrats to you and Casey. Many blessings and whatever the kids are into these days. Stew the seven days. Oh, the seven days, the seven days. He is a Mr. Builder guy on Instagram, a really good builder on Instagram. Said this was fragile. It looks to be some sort of print or graphic of some sort. Oh yeah, it's some dope prints. Oh, kick yes. It's some prints, it's some prints. There's some pictures of recoils. Yeah, that's cool. That's a, that's a cool print right there. Recoil on a hexome. Oh, look, it's a picture of me and Dwayne. Holy fuck, look at that. That's a dope picture of that gold recoil rebel. That looks fucking awesome, dude. Rebel box. Oh, I got a print of this picture. Uh, this picture is amazing. This was in uh, Arizona something or other. What was that? What was the event that was there in Arizona? Was that the, the Vape in the Sun event? Seven days, <laughs> and it's just Dwayne uh, sitting on me, who's sitting on a couch, and uh, he's vaping. I'm so glad I have these. Yeah, look at that. That's so dope. Look at that shot. Yeah, look at that gold recoil rebel right there. Dude, uh, these are awesome. I'm gonna frame some of these. I I'm definitely gonna frame most of these. I'm, uh, I'm gonna be redoing my office very, very soon. Not this weekend, because it's Casey's birthday this weekend, but it's definitely gonna be soon. I think it's gonna be next weekend, actually. Yeah. How often you get to open more Christmas presents in January? Oh yeah, and I got some coils, some J Boy coils. I'm not, uh, I'm not super familiar with J Boy, but I've got some of his coils. And I'll honestly probably use some of these when I set up that Wismec thing. Very cool, these seven days. Very cool. Thank you. Oh, I keep calling you these seven days. Your name's not these seven days. You're the seven days. Thank you for the gift wrapped stickers. Oh yeah, that's fucking rad. And then I got a pin. He gave me a pin. It's a cactus throwing the horns. That's that's cool. That's going straight onto my battle vest, sir. Oh, geez. A whole bunch of stuff from Vandy Vape. Why did I get two boxes from Vandy Vape? Uh, Kylan Mini RTA. Pardon me. Phobia RDA. More Kylan Minis. More Phobias. And the maze. I already have a maze. It's already up and running. I'm not in love with it. No spoiler alerts. Not in love with the maze RDA. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> okay, so this is... <laughs> Fuck everything. Okay, so this is not, not vape mail. This is a, uh, this is a Christmas gift for Casey, okay? And I ordered this Christmas gift for Casey at the beginning of November. It was just one of those things that was, like, advertised to me on Facebook, and I saw it, and I thought, that's fucking hilarious. I love that. I'm gonna buy it for Casey for Christmas. And so I ordered it, and it just never came. And Christmas came and went, and I finally emailed them, and I said, hey... I didn't get anything that I bought from you, and they're like, oh, I'm sorry, here's the tracking for you. And I know that I'm dealing 
directly with China. I've dealt with I've dealt directly with China enough times to know when I'm directly dealing with China. And they said, oh, oh, here's your tracking. And so I clicked the tracking and it just went nowhere. And so I entered the tracking and it said it had no updates. It said Shenzhen, China, that's it, no updates since I ordered it. And so we went through this whole song and dance back and forth, whole song and dance back and forth. Oh, well, let's recheck the tracking. We're gonna do this, we've got this. And they send a lot of like update emails so like we don't have any updates right now but we just want you to know that we have some of our team members looking into your you know looking into your issue they were actually really very very nice about it and it's finally here of course this is the multifunctional egg roll cup and now pickles not going to see this before i give it to her because i'm going to give it to her tonight but it's it's essentially what looks like a thermos or something like that but it cooks tubes of food. You can scramble eggs and it'll cook you a tube of scrambled eggs. I just thought that was, uh, I just thought that was so fucking hilarious. And you know what? It cost me like, I don't, I don't know, 25, 30 bucks. So no big deal. Anyway, Merry Christmas, Casey. Ah, SoCal Vape, the first ever acai smoothie with granola, made with nicotine salts for the ultimate satisfaction. A lot of people have been asking about uh, nicotine salts and the way that they work, and, you know, people are buying regular juices, and they keep the, you know, I keep getting these emails where people say, should I be buying uh, nicotine salts? or nicotine salts better? I heard nicotine salts are better. Nicotine salts are just much more efficient at getting the nicotine into your system. Salt is nicotine's normal, natural form. So when you have e-liquids made with nicotine salts, whether that's like a, a three or six milligram or a 20, 25, 35 milligram, it's just when you vape it, it's, it's, much, more, it's much more efficient at getting into your body. The absorption rate is much better. I've found with nicotine salts, especially vaping those sage nicotine salts in a six milligram, I vape much less when using nicotine salts. But this is an acai creamy acai smoothie with granola. Now, acai berries are, uh, are, are awful. They're awful, gross, horrible, bitter little things. I literally cannot stand them. But I'm really interested to see how this juice is going to play out. It does taste like there is some sucralose. It tastes like there is some sweetener in here. And that's just the way that granola flavors go. Every granola bar flavored juice or granola bar fruit flavored juice has always had a lot of sweetener in it. And it really is a pretty ruthless coil destroyer. Coil and wick destroyer. I mean, darkened, blackened wicks. I know for sure that this is some more juice right here. I got a... Uh, purple Lost Art beanie. What's weird is I've never talked to Lost Art liquids before. I don't know how they even have my new address. And here's the thing. I, uh, I just avoid Lost Art liquids because I genuinely don't like their branding very much. And they have sent over quite a bit of juice. So let's look. Yeah, this is all, this is not Lost Art Liquids. This is not, uh, this is not great branding, man. I mean, it's not, there's no cartoon characters on it. The colors look, okay, look. Look, okay, I need, I need your feedback on this, guys. Lost Art Liquids has kind of always straddled that line between acceptable and uh, maybe slightly inappropriate branding. Thoughts? What are your thoughts on this branding right here? It's big. It says, the Slaughter Pop, the white, or the grape white Lost Art Liquids. It just looks like a, a train wreck on there, man. Uh, it's just so much loud color in my face. There's some other ones here that I'm not super in love with. That's not so bad. No, what do you think of this one? What do you think of Lost Art's branding? I really just want to get your feedback. Unicorn puke? I don't... Why, well, I don't want to vape unicorn puke. I'm not honestly 100% sure how this Lost Art Liquids even came to be in my possession. I don't know. What do you guys think? This is something in the comments down below I would love, love, absolutely love to get your thoughts on. Lost Art Liquids branding. Good? Bad? unacceptable borderline I feel like it's a little borderline man this isn't something that I would really be comfortable throwing up on Instagram I don't know if I would post this picture of space rocks 
rocks with a Z, space rocks, iced, lost art liquids. To me, that's uh, that's a little bit of a questionable branding right there. Anyway, uh, regardless, uh, thank you, Lost Art Liquids, for, for, the, for the juices, obviously. Uh, I hope that they are good. I may not vape these. I may not. Uh, gummy glue. And I get, like, I get the style that they're going after. I get it that this isn't necessarily, like, a kid appealing thing. This is very, this is very, has a very different feel than that. This is more of, like, a, uh, graffiti sort of hip graffiti sort of look to it and I get that bright colors and graffiti trust me I totally get that and that might be how I see it but I can just imagine someone on the fucking California Public Health Board at a hearing holding up this bottle right here and going explain this bottle explain Ziggy explain how this isn't supposed to appeal to kids I get that it's like a, a hip sort of graffiti look to it unfortunately I just don't think that anybody else is going to see it that way. Anyway, like I said, I'd love to get your thoughts down in the comments below about uh, maybe how you feel about Lost Art Liquids. And keep in mind, this isn't just a, a Lost Art Liquids bashing session. I genuinely want some very honest feedback about Lost Art Liquids. What do you think? I'll probably try these privately, uh, but I may not ever put these on YouTube or put them on Instagram. It's just something that I don't feel comfortable doing. Oh, and there's also some uh, cotton bacon included. This looks like, uh, I mean, come on, man. That looks like Big League Chew. This is a vape product. I mean, granted, it's just cotton, but huh, seriously? And I get it. Like, no kid, there's no kid. No kid is going to see this and go, oh, cool. I'm going to open this because I think it's for kids. Oh, look, it's cotton. That's boring. I certainly don't think that they're trying to make cotton appealing to kids. That's ridiculous. Honestly, I'm just not a huge fan of cotton bacon to begin with. So, looks like we're doing some $2 stuff. And I have a purple Lost Art Liquids beanie. Because everybody knows my favorite beanie color is purple. Anyway, moving forward, this appears to be a uh, box mod. Ooh, pardon me. A box mod from Asmodus. The Lustro. This is the one that all of my patrons, all of my Yo Yo -Yoy Cool Kids Club were asking me about on the last Instagram live stream I did the Asmodus Lustro box mod. So, finally got one. I'm not sure why there's so much hype around this mod. I haven't honestly heard much about it. Yeah. It's a, uh, it looks to be a dual 18650, uh, just regulated, regulated box mod. I'm assuming this is a light here on the side. I'm generally a pretty big fan of some of the stuff that Asmodus does. I don't think they kill it all the time. You know, who can kill it all the time? But I think Asmodus does a pretty good job of cranking out some pretty cool mods, so I'm excited to try that out for sure. Oh, but wait, there's more. Oh, it's a fidget spinner. Asmodus fidget spinners. I didn't realize that fidget spinners were still a thing. Uh, okay, so the Lustro apparently has an IR sensor in it that does not require the user to touch the screen to interact with their device, turning your everyday vaping session into something that you would see in a sci-fi movie. By simply waving your hand in front of the device, you may navigate through the menu or switch firing modes, an affair that you must experience yourself to believe. Although we're incredibly proud of this aspect of the Lustro, you are able to switch it off if you like. While we try to revolutionize the vaping industry, we won't force you to use a method of interaction that you don't like. All right, well, uh... Cool. That's a, that's a really interesting thing. I've never been bothered by having to press a button or use a touch screen or something. And I've never seen IR like infrared implemented in, in other technology other than like, you know, remote controls. And this is actually a shockingly smooth fidget spinner. Wow. This is uh, very satisfying. Anyway, uh, moving forward, we do have just two more packages to get through. And then I think we're still gonna set up that Wismac. I think we're still gonna set up that Wismac Luxotic Squonker. We got the Smoant Battlestar sub ohm tank, as well as the Smoant Ronker. Ranker? Oh, Ranker. How that, okay, come on. Look at this and tell me that it doesn't look like Ronker. That was a, that was a bad choice of fonts there, Smoant. Oh, okay. Well, that's. That's not a thing that I'm super into. Oh man. Okay, it's a uh, it's a it's a grippy button guy. It's it's kind of it looks like they're borrowing heavily from uh, from old smoke products, I guess. Just want evidence of this as well. Screen protector coming off. Smoat Ranker 
Temperature control, 218. Not much to look at right now. It's just, uh, you know, it's got that snakeskin leather that Smoant likes to do, and it's got this huge button right here. This whole side of the grip is a button. Yeah, I could see that actually being pretty comfortable. It's a little on the big side, especially for just a dual 18650. Like, 18650s are not huge batteries. I feel like this could have easily, easily been a dual 2700 or 21700 or something like that. But as it stands, it's a dual 18. 650 from Smoant called the Ranker or the Ronker if you're me. All right, and this is the final, final package. Oh, Dan. Oh, okay. Hey, Dan, I got your package. Uh, what up? Uh, yo yo and Mr. Green, this is Dan, aka Ohm My Lanta. This is the juice I told you I would send from the shop I work at. I just want to say thank you for all you do. I know you always say I'm just a guy on YouTube who likes vaping, but to me and the rest of your followers, patrons, Grim Army, we look up to you. Uh, you keep us going on this path of no more stinky sticks, and for that we thank you. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's honestly uh, it's honestly my pleasure, uh, Mr. Dan, Mr. Ohm My Lanta. Hopefully you get to meet at a future event, the vape event. I don't know. If this might be a little bit of a personal letter. I don't know if I want to read this in a YouTube video. Queen Pickles. Thanks for everything, Dan Mansfield. Yeah, absolutely, Dan. That Dan, that's awesome. He sent over some juice from the shop he works at. It looks like some of those were those pod nick salts undertow, 25 milligram, sweet mint, 25 milligram, and tiger uppercut, 25 milligram as well. It's a Street Fighter reference right there. Oh yeah, look at these bottles. Oh, these are cool. Independent Vapor Company Parade Maker. Hazelnut Toffee Sugar Cookie? Hazel on the toffee sugar cookie that sounds delicious blackberry lemonade and then millionaire series i'm assuming this is like a uh rainbow sherbet type of flavor hey regardless it's got a very very cool logo on it anyway dan ohm my lanta thank you i finally got the package bro thank you oh shit i should have waited i should have waited and opened this on the live stream we're gonna have today but that's okay it ended up on youtube and that's it <laughs> Done. That's all she wrote. I got through all the vape mail. All the vape mail. All right. Well, I'm going to put on my Lost Art Liquids beanie. And I believe what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to clean this all up. We're going to jump back over to my desk. I'm going to set up this Wismec Squonker along with the little Tobe atomizer that comes with it. The new Tobino atomizer that comes with it. And yeah, I'm pretty stoked. Uh, let's try some of this juice. When was I going to try? I was going to try that uh, 1885, the vanilla milkshake maybe? from Freeman. Maybe I might actually give like a Lost Art Liquids a shot. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I don't have to decide right at this moment, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up my office from this mess. I'm going to build this. Like I said, we're going to get back over to the desk. Thanks to the, thanks to the technology of video editing, it, it will be seamless. All right, cool. So earlier when I was opening up all the vape mail, we set up that little pod system, the bird from Space Jam. Pretty dope little setup. And we're also going to vape on this Wismec, oh, I can't remember the name of it. Luxotica BF Squonker. The Luxotic BF Box. And just as like a pro tip to Jabo, if he's looking for any sort of input, I really like where you're going with this whole Luxotic thing. It's like a luxury exotic sort of thing. And I really, really do get that. And bro, I am on board. But we gotta think of better names for these devices other than BF Box. The name Luxotic and BF box don't really go together. It should be like the Luxotic Persephone. I feel like it should have a, a, maybe a little bit more interesting of a name than just BF box. It's a, it sounds like such a downer. It's like Luxotic BF box. But anyway, I got the little Tobina built. It's just a quick little single coil banger. It was, eh, I don't know, a little bit awkward for my first time. I'm sure I'll get used to it, but it's a very simple deck design. You just drop your coils in, you bend them down. You have to bend them sort of over into the middle, if that makes sense. I'll, I'll just go ahead and narrate a quick uppy closey portion, but you kind of have to drop them in on the far side because the far side is actually where the, the little posts are. So looking at this build I have in here right now, you can kind of see over here is where your coils go. So you drop them straight down and then you kind of boop, just bend them over. And I've also noticed that these J-Boy coils that I got from the seven days are kind of uh, weird, oddly colored. I haven't seen 
coils ever look like that inside my RDA. It's Nichrome 80 and I glowed them like normal and hooked them all up and then they kind of started giving off this weird sort of rusty copper color which I'm not honestly super stoked on. I might actually rebuild this sooner rather than later. But yeah, that's the deck. So you can see you drop them in over here. You kind of bend it down. You have airflow coming in from that way, airflow coming in from that way, going right at the bottom of your coil, which is great. And then your top cap goes on and you have your little, uh, you know, adjustable airflow right here. And I have taken a few toots and I just like rocking it fully open. So yeah, just like my first time building on it, it was kind of just, a, I don't know, a little bit weird. It's just took a, a little bit of getting used to. It's no big deal. It's not like some huge steep learning curve on it. And I went ahead and pulled an audible and I didn't vape any of the juices that I said I was going to vape. I went ahead and vaped that Nillionaire original, which I believe is like a rainbow sherbet type of flavor. Uh, it's good, it's sweet, but it tastes very dry to me. It reminds me much more of like a pixie stick type of flavor than say like a like a ice cream type of flavor. It's just not as creamy as I was kind of expecting it to be. But it is good. It's nice and sweet, but it's not too sweet. Anyway, let's have a couple pulls on this. Wismec branded along the back. I'm not in love with that. Very, very easy to fill up the bottle, take it out, put it back in. Everything's so far has been really simple. It's an unregulated mod, meaning there's no switches or adjustment knobs or anything like that. You're just getting the load of the battery, which is 3.7 volts. You know, for most of its life, it's 3.7 volts, right around 3.6, 3.7 volts until the voltage starts dropping off as the life of the battery. This isn't, this isn't Battery Mooch's channel. <laughs> I'm going to let Battery Mooch explain how batteries work, and I'll talk about how a squonker works. Anyway, let's Give it a couple tries here. Yeah, uh, that's nice. Got some juice in my mouth. Dragging too hard on this little Tobina atomizer. If you've just recently squonked, juice will go in your mouth. Almost every single toot I've taken so far off of this little Tobina. I've got juice in my mouth. And I have a feeling that's user error because I'm used to squonking a much bigger chamber on the inside. And this little Tobina is a tiny, tiny, tiny little chamber on the inside, which means you're gonna get great flavor, but it also kind of means you have to be careful with your squonking. I just give it a little, like one, that's it, you're good. There's no need, like on some other squonkers, I have like that Pulse, like that Drip Tech DS, if I'm running like a Rebel on top, where you give it like a long press. This is just a quick little boop, just fill it up, you're done. The vape experience I'm getting from this right now is very much like that vape experience that I get from that Asmodus Luna Squonker. It's much more mellow. It's a lot less warm, but it is very, very flavorful. And you still get some good, uh, you know, if anybody cares about clouds, yeah, you still get some good clouds. But this is a very, very different style of vaping than, say, like a mech mod with a low build on it on, a, on you know, like a cloud chasing RDA. It's much warmer, it's it's much more cloudy, and this is very much more along the lines of like, uh, you know, like that Luna. I don't even know what to call this. It's much more of a mellow, relaxed, cooler sort of flavor vape, in my opinion. And it's something that I've really enjoyed. It's honestly really been growing on me a lot. But yeah, that's what it is. Uh, I set it up, we opened some vape mail, and uh, I don't have any more things to talk about at all. This is going to be like the world's shortest micro, like, half vlog. But anyway, Anyway, yeah, dude, that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me again to open some vape mail. It's something I needed to do. And because there was no actual vlog vlog this week, I really wanted to put that on video and get it up on YouTube because I just wanted to. That's okay. I'm allowed. It's my YouTube. <laughs> Anyway, now I'm just talking crazy talk. Anyway, that's it, everybody. I just, I just feel so awkward because I've, I don't end, 
Like, I don't end things here. I don't end things right after I open vape mail. I feel like I should be shooting a lot more segments, but I'm not. I'm just ending it here. So that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. There will be a normal full vlog next week. Hope everybody enjoyed Bro Trip to Dumont Dunes. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. And also, this February, ECC in Southern California. I will be there. Dwayne will be there. Kent will be there. Turk will be there. Coil Turd will be there. Ruby Roo will be there. Jess Marie will be there. We've got a huge booth and, uh, well, not huge. It's it's normal size. We got a normal sized booth and we're going to be there slinging all sorts of stuff, RDAs and drip tips. And I'm going to have a whole bunch of new merch and stickers made too. So get excited. And we're also going to have the Emerald Green, Grim Green, Me Pods at ECC. CC. Boom. Roasted. Get excited. Anyway, now I'm really going to wrap this up. I'm getting into vlog mode where I just start talking and I need to stop that. But that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, yeah, let's keep on vaping.